What is going on guys, my name is 4G, so today I wanted to make a video talking about map changes when it comes to Fortnite Reload, because, well, this is a very brand new mode still, it is very new, we've only had it for about two months, I've been playing an absolute ton and having a lot of fun, more fun than I've had in a very long time, especially with the idea that we now have that brand new Marvel season, just not for me personally. Now, I do think some of the weapons are pretty interesting about that brand new season, but the Captain America shield, it's just this all this stuff is just not for me personally. It definitely feels, it's just too easy basically to die to somebody who is very bad at the game and I just I don't like that kind of mechanics in games. I think it's just cheesy. But anyways, this is positive, alright? We're going to be positive in this video. So going back to Fortnite Reload, this is an incredible mode, of course. I've talked about it a good amount on this channel, but we do need to see map changes. Now, we have seen certain changes already. Right? We've seen a couple different loot pool changes, um, specifically things like vaulting, the heavy AR, and the infantry rifle. Please bring back one of them at least. Please, I do not want to have to keep using the scar. Well, I mean, the hammer AR is is, is nice, but I do kind of want something with less bloom still. The Hammer AR is probably the best option currently, but I still want that heavy AR or at least the infantry rifle, something back. I just want to deal with that again. So pretty much we've only seen loot pool changes so far. We've seen no map changes or any large changes like that. They did say sometime this season they will be changing up Fortnite Reload. They will be adding some new content or something. I don't exactly know specifically as to what that means, uh, but we do know that it will be happening at some point they'll be doing something and i'm hoping it is some sort of map change now i want to see map changes for a couple different reasons i mean for one variety who doesn't want some variety in the gameplay of course if we're just playing on the same map constantly it does get a little boring after a while but also i don't want to see this mode die out i don't think it will at this point even with the limited content but i still don't want to see it die out so we do need to see new content and that includes map changes not just loot pool changes loot pool changes definitely do a lot they do help a lot but at the same time, I think the map is a very big factor when it comes to that. That is the reason Fortnite became as popular as it is, at least from my experience. That is why I played and enjoyed Fortnite so much in the early days. They were constantly changing the map, something that no other game would ever do at that point in time. It just keeps the game a lot more fresh. Now, how would I want to see these map changes being implemented is very simple. I would like to see them actually replace certain POIs on the map <laughs> pretty crazy right pretty crazy concept but i think that extending the map like they did in chapter one for example the snow biome kind of extended the map a tiny bit yeah i don't think that would work here maybe it would a little tiny bit i'm not exactly sure but with 40 players even with respawns i just don't think that spreading out the players that thin is a good idea i don't think that's the case so i do believe that they would have to replace certain pois on the map now which ones that's a great question for me personally i would like to see them replace place retail row now i know retail row is a classic but at the same time it's a very large poi and from my experience unless it is a hot drop nobody really drops there that much nowadays it's not like the chapter one map where people did drop there with 100 players there was a good players would spread out pretty evenly when it comes to retail and pleasant and tilted you know they would go different places but with 40 players it doesn't really seem to work out that way and i know later on in the game the, the games are very hectic and very fast paced there's a lot of action going on still but that early phase is very important as well in my opinion that's why all i ever land at is mostly pleasant park tilted is a little too crazy especially with other people always just funneling in from outside POIs. So I don't really think that it's a great idea to land at Tilted, but landing at Pleasant is a great balance between chaotic and, you know, actually being able to survive and get out of there and progress through the game pretty much. So yeah, I would like to see them replace Retail Row. Now, what kind of POI would I like to see? Well, <laughs> I want to see Paradise Palms, all right? Come on, we got to see Paradise Palms. That right there would be amazing to see. Now, would it be as populated as it was in the Chapter 1 map? That's that's a good point, right? But at the same time, it's a little different than Pleasant Park. It has a different vibe, a different atmosphere, uh, a different type of POI. It's more of, you know, there's loot on the outskirts. The, the buildings on the outskirts, the houses and stuff like that, um, kind of wrap around so I don't know you can just kind of move around the POI in a pretty particular way that you couldn't you can in Pleasant actually not to think about it similar reason why I like Pleasant it's kind of just all the circle you know, if you think of all the buildings that's very similar how it works in Paradise Palms but anyways point is it would be nice to see Paradise Palms added to the game and I think it would fit very well where Retail Row is and now it's not just because oh that's where it was on the chapter one map in that southeastern part of the map like I, that's not really why that's just because 
because that's where retail is and i think retail should be replaced at some point just because of how dead that poi is on this particular map i just think that's how it should be i think that would be very beneficial to the game and i would like to see it now if they were to add anything brand new which is also a very good idea if they want to add new pois i think that something that is new but feels like a classic poi is the best thing to do and they've already done this i mean i don't exactly remember what these pois are called just off the top of my head right now uh but the the pool poi I mean, that feels like a classic POI. I mean, it literally, I guess, it kind of is. It was part of the soccer field of the original map. Maybe that's why. Um, or any of the Save the World City maps. Sometimes you'll find this there. Which is exactly why this map feels like it's OG. It's because it's using all the same stuff from Save the World. And I think that that's exactly what all these maps should be still, in my opinion. Um, but I, I guess other people disagree. I don't really care anymore. Now that we have Fortnite Reload, as long as they stick with it and they, they have this map feeling like Chapter 1 Fortnite, I'm all for it, even if it's brand new with brand new locations. That's all I really need at the end of the day. Now, that being said, don't take Pleasant for me. Don't take Tilted. Please don't. Leave those in the game. I think those need to stay no matter what. Um, honestly, I'd say even you could take Snobby even. I also don't see very many people going Snobby. And it's not even like the real Snobby, I guess, because it's not as large. But I don't know. Either way, point is um, some of these newer locations. Is it Dusty Docks? I don't exactly know what it's called. But regardless, that place right there is technically a brand new location. But it feels like it belongs on the chapter one map like it just works so well if they're gonna add new pois that's what it needs to feel like it needs to have that same chapter one art style and even if i'm gonna make a full video talking about this but even if they made a brand new map for this game mode down the road i think it still needs to stick with the chapter one theming i think that's the big selling point here and i think they know that that is what the whole point they saw the popularity of the og mode they realized that they probably can't have the og mode 24 7 because it just wouldn't work so they made something brand new based off of that and i think that as long as they keep that going we'll have some good content in the future as long as we have the pump still the tack the scar as much as i don't really like the scar that needs to be there still the bolt those are some key weapons that need to stay in the loop pool and then the map needs to stay similar to the chapter one map just smaller i think at that point this sounds like a great recipe for a very fun mode also not only that i need to play reload at this point i don't even like playing the regular mode i played it for a bit just to try out the new season yeah sure it's fun to try out the new items and stuff like that but when you die and you can't respawn it's just it's just not very fun in my opinion i like being able to have the second third fourth fifth chance i mean you're still getting punished there's absolutely no way you're not getting punished you're losing all your loot and you have only a common ar and you have to struggle to find all that loot back up again while other people are probably already looted yeah no so you're still getting punished but it's just in a, a different way you're not just getting kicked out of the game spectating simulator so this is all peak fortnite in my opinion but i would like to see new content being added to it in the future but again you can't go too far and try to make it what you did with chapter 5 i don't want to see a chapter 5 fortnite reload map with bullet travel time and all of that stuff the hit scan stuff needs to be exactly how it is i love the hit scan in fortnite reload I, don't, I just that's how fortnite should be in my opinion but anyways this video is getting a bit too long at this point what do you guys think about this how would you like to see fortnite add brand new pois and locations to the fortnite reload map or do you think they should just keep this map the same make a brand new map and uh yeah go from there but yeah that's gonna wrap up this video if you guys enjoyed a like would be greatly appreciated if you're new here and you like videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching have a great day